This is something that we've been wanting to try for a while. Very I first attempt. Yeah, I <gasps> Matt, caught something? <laughs> My uh, 30 seconds to a minute of fishing. These are the results. <gasps> There's blood all over my deck! Welcome to MJ Sailing. We're Matt and Jessica, a couple that left Michigan for the nomadic lifestyle seven years ago. Recently, we refitted an aluminum boat to sail to the Arctic and explore us in the more remote areas of the planet. Thanks for joining the adventure. overcast days where you just want to sit and drink your coffee all day long and as much as we would kind of like love just one of those chill days we have got a lot of miles to put on our next stop after leaving Buda is in the little island called Lovund I know it's not pronounced like that but that's how an American would say it and it's actually known as Puffin Island and we actually need to rush ourselves to get there because thousands and thousands of puffins will come there every summer but they literally are on a schedule and we may have just missed them. We'll find out. They actually have an internal clock where they arrive every single year on April 14th. Uh, the Norwegians consider it kind of their unofficial start to summer, but then they also leave at the end of July. And here we are sitting within the first few days of August, so if they actually arrive on the same day every year, we may have just missed them but we're gonna go find out for ourselves and there's supposed to be a great mountain there to hike with really great views, as long as it's not looking like this outside. So, checking the weather this morning, it would be great to sail down, um, but along the coast here, you can tell there's absolutely no wind. We watched a tall ship yesterday sailing <laughs> at point three point knots. Point three knots, yeah. Point three knots. <laughs> they were determined the not to motor, yeah, I don't know if they have the capabilities of motoring. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, and so they didn't go anywhere, but we will be. Um, Luvan is up here, and this is Norway. <laughs> okay. So, yesterday morning, we left Buda and made about 30 miles, so I think we're in this area now. So for today, the plan is to probably take the inside route and motor down here to Luvan, where there is going to be a minefield of little islands that we'll have to uh, work our way around, but that is what navigation's for. Okay. And the high pressure system. Okay. So northern Norway here, the Lofotens, Buddha's right there. We are going down here, and as you can see, there is no wind at all. So, it's going to be a long, long day of motoring for us. So we're just going to enjoy our morning coffee and the quaint little red barn view behind us, and then it's going to be time to weigh anchor and put in about 10 hours of motoring to hopefully arrive there tonight, Ugh. where I will be cooking hot dogs because, yeah. Something about being outside all day, even if you're doing nothing, it just wipes you out. It's hard to explain, other cruisers will understand, but just sitting on your butt outside leaves you so tired at the end of the night. Yeah, and 10 hours of motoring does not sound pleasant ever. Mm -mm. Uh, so, we have put more hours on our engine than we'd ever want to. So, hot dogs and Netflix tonight when we get there.
I have to admit that although part of me wishes it were just a beautiful, sunny, and somewhat warm day today, there is something just really cool about when it's overcast like this and there's just this like low mist and clouds hanging over all these mountains. Just gives it like a really mysterious and suspenseful feel and so got to take those days and enjoy them too. I'm gonna make myself another cup of coffee, try and stay warm and just I guess imagine I'm in the Lord of the Rings or something but again just another stunning day here. You cannot get away from them. I am. Um, this is how I travel. I haven't been sitting and snacking from my computer all day, but because it's calm and we're traveling the inside path where there's no like wakes or swell, uh, it gives me time to do some editing. So Matt has been very kind to sit outside all day while I sit under a blanket and work on an episode. So, so. I think it's been like uh, seven or eight hours of working straight. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. So this is what Jessica gets to enjoy. Yeah, so while Jessica's down here in the cave working, I get to sit out there, which beautiful view around, but it's cold. Um, so I'm hiding behind the Dodger right now. There's just the slightest breeze, but it's enough to kind of just chill you to the bone. Um, but again, beautiful view, so it's totally worth it. So I'm reading, looking around, and occasionally looking to make sure you don't smash into rocks or boats. That's the extent of my day. Here is where Georgie's celebrating the day. Again, kind of cold here. <laughs> so, she's in a wonder bag. If you guys aren't familiar with it, it is a way to uh, cook food. You heat it up quickly, a pan, and you put it in there and it slow cooks it because it's very, very insulated. Um, Georgie has claimed it for her bed. And uh, this is where she sleeps now. She likes it. Yeah, Milk it's nice and warm in there. Okay. okay, cover you back up. I have decided that I am done with computer work for the day, or at least for now. We are getting close. So I'm gonna go out and get some fresh air. And the place that we're headed to is visible now. Actually, it has been for the past 20 miles or so. Big old peaks sticking up. Try this. It's supposed to be for jigging for cod. You're supposed to be in a hundred feet of water, apparently. Oh, autopilot oh. doesn't like this. Autopilot is not a fan. Oh. Already wrapping myself up, which is dangerous. So jigging is what exactly? Putting the lure basically down and then doing this. That's a jig. Giving it action, apparently. Problem is, is you're supposed to be still dropping it down 100 feet, bringing it to the bottom, pretty much. This is something that we've been wanting to try for a while. Very I first attempt. Yeah, I caught <gasps> Matt caught something? <laughs> I totally wasn't prepared to actually catch anything, so I don't even have gloves. <laughs> Do you want me to hold anything while you... No. Alright, let's see what we got. Hopefully not just seaweed. 
What do we have here? Something big. Holy crap. Yep. What do you know? It actually works. Our friends were right. They said if you drop a hook in, you'll catch something. Oh my god. That thing is huge. Wow. <laughs> okay, I don't know what to do. Oh, oh, oh. And Dang. spit the hook right there. George, girl, that's going to freak you out. Wow. So that was, what, 30 seconds of water? Pretty no, much. a little bit more than that. Probably two minutes of water. <laughs> Unbelievable. So this is two minutes in the water with a jig. That this is, is what a we got. big, big fish. That is unbelievable. Wow. All right, I gotta put the camera away so we can... Uh... Yeah, so I guess we're gonna be filleting and we'll be eating fish tonight. Yeah. I really, truly did not expect this to work. Um, I thought I was just uh, doing something to... Just something to do? Like an exercise. Um, look at that. Yeah. That is crazy. Georgie is Cat's terrified. happy. Maybe. <laughs> okay, so right, let's, let's get this fish out of its misery. Well, we're really happy that we decided to take this chance and stop and uh, try fishing for the first time and months. Basically we've been dragging a lure around here and we heard that that wasn't the way to do it. Um, you really need to go over about a hundred foot depth, drop a jig down and jig and uh, they said that just about every time you do that you will be successful. <laughs> they were absolutely right. It is incredible how fast it went. So we're very happy. Uh, we're gonna have some wonderful cod tonight and uh, for the next couple of days I think too. places ever. Matt finds the coolest places ever. I just bring us there. In style. In total style. Man, this is beautiful. Anchor is down, Anchor. engine is off, and we are in the most majestic place ever. There's so much greenery on these jagged cliffs, and we're kind of near a sandy beach, and then the water just shallows up and turns this beautiful green. It's so pretty, but. Look how postcard perfect that little cabin is. I know, and there's birds in the distance. We just caught a big ours fish. And we did, so I'm gonna have to start cooking that up. We're gonna go down below, turn the heater on. It's been a little cooler the past few days. We have been enjoying temps in like the low to mid 60s Fahrenheit, of course. It's been around highs of 55 lately, so tolerable, but with the wind blowing on the water, it gets a little cold. So I'm gonna go turn the heater on and uh, start cooking up some fish for dinner. And then tomorrow, we're going up there. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look how happy you are now. Yeah, you're full of fish. Full of good fish eats. There's gonna be heat in a minute. That's one good cat life. These are some good looking fillets. And this was just one little part of this plate. It's so freaking heavy. So, time to batter these up and fry them. So far, I 
have two down, which look and smell delicious. Potatoes for a side. Salt. Success, we have cooked fish. The best style, too. Deep fried. And with tartar sauce. Tartar sauce. Uh, chip sauce, actually. Okay, because um, it's British. Because it's Brits. Uh, yeah, very, very excited about this. It's one of those things I love white fish when it's deep fried uh phenomenal i really don't love fish any other way so this is perfect and then these big fillets of white fish uh you know they bread really really well really easy and fry up really nice so we take a very healthy thing and we make it completely unhealthy that's our style <laughs> now i'm gonna load it full of chip sauce and ketchup and salt. <laughs>